What's up, YouTube? Rob here, bringing you episode 52 of my Detroit Tigers franchise mode here on MLB The Show 16. And today in this video, we will be concluding the three-game set against the Philadelphia Phillies. You just saw a record there. We're 33 and 13. I think that said it went by quickly, but that's... We're well over 500. We're 10 games up in the AL Central, which we'll go over next video in the May review. But right here, we're player locking as... Jose Iglesias, we're up 2-0 here for his first at-bat, bottom of the second, runner on first. So right now, I've been changing up the lineup over the last couple weeks, which will show how we've been doing up until this point. We'll do that next video. We've been moving around the lineup. Before, I think you guys remembered, uh, Judge was, Aaron Judge was struggling lately, so instead of having him Low, batting in the lower third of the lineup we decided to bat him second for the last couple weeks and he's been slowly heating up so he's not batting second for us today that's Kinsler batting behind Davis and before Miggy today so because I think we gave him a day off in JD's and right if I remember correctly but right here Davis in his first at bat let off the game with a home run and he finishes the day with two home runs as a spoiler alert but we'll see if we go on to win but on too quickly as we run to third while they figure out what's happening there in the outfield. I want to elaborate quickly on the trade I made last episode. And as I briefly said, because I was in a time crunch when making that, and again, it was unplanned, like I said. So the reason behind trading Al Albuquerque for Kevin Segrist was because Albuquerque had a 15 ERA, which is ridiculous he's had plenty of chances to get it down but he's just been struggling plus I wanted to get younger in the bullpen or continue getting younger in the bullpen so looking at the trade option Seagrist was the best one pretty much and there isn't really anything else besides that he's better pitcher and one thing he is a normally a B potential pitcher so I just tweaked that a little bit I didn't change anything else about him or anyone else so there's that so we, that trade pretty much done and he's done well in the couple appearances he's had since we acquired him and I don't I think we he does show up he does make an appearance in this game but again we're player locking so we're not really gonna see him but make sure you guys get to see what he can do in a upcoming video new acquisition as we're going to probably make some more throughout the season. But next video, as I said earlier, is going to be the May review. At right after that, I could do, then after that, then the May, beginning of June. So first year player draft is coming up quickly too. I'm going to do those as two separate videos. As we get an infield single, we're up 6-0. I'm not even focusing on what's happening in the background here. As we hit the ball off the pitcher, he'll be fine though. Six nothing. We've been on a absolute tear, pretty much since last video. And again, we'll see that in the May review. And we and the next batter pops up. That ends the inning. Tigers' offense has been going crazy lately. Pitching's been doing well. Animal Sanchez is on the well is on the mound for us in this game, which you might have seen already. It's the bottom of the eighth. We're going to swing and miss past that slider. 0-1. Oh Let's see if we could get our third hit of the day as a Glacius. Should not have swung at that. 0-2. Oh and, and the next pitch, I'm not sure who's on the mound right now for the Phillies. We're going to take that slider low and away for a ball. One two count to Iglesias. He's going to ground that right to Ryan Howard over at first, and that'll do it. We do go on to win this game by a score of six to nothing. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, I think in the end, this really could have been anybody's award, but what the heck, let's go ahead and give it to this guy.